Hi, it's Simona again, and this is a very fun way to show you my art materials and my techniques. Today I'm unboxing a very special brand of paint. It's the Sennelier wooden box set of oil paint. I purchased it because I will be doing a comparison of the Sennelier brand against my M. Graham brand. I use these brands because they don't have linseed oil. I discovered a few years ago that the linseed oil is really the culprit that's given me a big problem. Although I got rid of my solvents and such, it was the linseed oil that was still bothering me, especially in the winter time where I just couldn't keep my windows open. So let's go on to the next phase and I'll unbox these paints. Let's pull this wooden box out of this paper casing. I'm to make sure I don't cut the box for myself. Oh, of course, another box. That's well protected. always if you notice when I when I cut it I always lift this and pull it away from the surface and look at if I would have done that I might have cut the the wood on the, the box something I learned a while ago attractive box nice I feel like leather straps There's a little latch, attractive latch. Here you go. So let's see a close-up of this wooden box set. So I've moved everything around here, pulled out the box so you can see it a little bit better. I have these paints that are, uh, let's see, 40 millimeter paint tubes, good size. And this one here is French Vermilion. Not as red as I thought Vermilion would be, but okay. I have Zinc White. Cerulean Blue, Cadmium Red, Ultramarine Deep, which I, I always have to have Ultramarine, Chromium Green Deep, Chromium Green Light. I don't really use pre-made greens that much, but okay. Cadmium Yellow Lemon Hue, Yellow Ochre, another paint I use quite a bit, Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue, a lot of cadmiums, you know they're toxic so you got to be careful to wear gloves or a barrier cream with them. Raw Umber, eh, I would have rather had a uh, another brown like a burnt sienna and here's ivory black I purchased on my own a, a large tube of titanium white because I know how important it is to uh, have enough white I don't use a lot of white but uh, I, I would use more than the zinc white and actually with the zinc white uh, you know the move is against using zinc white because it does crack uh, eventually but it's not as bad if you use it thinly and on panels. I also purchased 
this uh, Chinese orange, I've heard a lot of good things about it. It used to be a redder tone, more like a vermilion, but it's uh, a little more orange nowadays. And I purchased one of my favorite colors, which is burnt sienna. And like I said, these three colors are separate from the set. The set came with a couple of brushes, a round and a flat, both imitation sable, a standard palette knife, and some vine charcoal, willow charcoal. And a palette, a couple of empty bottles for your medium solvent. This is too small for me, but you know, you could put this on your palette and put your medium and solvent in it, I guess. I'll just keep it around as a cute decoration. And this is nice, this little Sennelier cloth. I probably will never get it dirty. It's cute to keep. You know, they're such a historic company. I won't go into that because there's so much already on YouTube. You can find out about the company. I purchased their paints because they are such a reputable company. Although they have changed some of their formulations over time. It's been you know, more than 100 years, much more. So I will go on and compare these with my M. Graham paints, which are pretty much made with uh, walnut oil. And I'll do a video on my comparison. I read the backs of all the tubes of paint that came with the set, plus the backs of the tubes of paint I bought separately. And the ivory black that came with the set has linseed oil as its medium. All the others have uh, safflower oil. Now, I am disappointed in that, but I do have a walnut oil based uh, ivory black and I rarely use ivory black anyway. So that's important to know. 